Hello, lifestylers, and welcome to Lifestyle with Latasha. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating our formal dining room. So I know a lot of people are preparing for spring, but guys, I'm a little stuck. It's still so cold outside and I am just not ready to hit that spring yet. So I decided to do a winter video just to continue on until at least that first week of March. And so today I want you to join along with me as I decorate our formal dining room with a little bit of winter cheer, as I'll say, to keep it cozy still as we're in a couple of these cold weeks coming ahead. So here's all of the items that I'm going to be showcasing today. I am going to make a little bit of a change. I have to admit those tall candlesticks, I'm going to end up not utilizing those and just switching it out for something else. But in the meantime, everything else I am absolutely loving. Now, I think I mentioned before that we are in a great um, community with a wooded lot and we often see see a lot of wildlife well one thing that we get to see quite often are deers so i thought it was only appropriate that i allow them to be a part of my winter decor just letting them know that they are loved outside and inside so in today i hope that you enjoy what you're seeing in this video I hope that when you get to the end, you like all the information. If there's anything that I purchased that is still available, I will have the link to those items below. Of course, some of these things will have been bought in the winter season, so they may not be there. However, if it's still available, I will definitely let you guys know. So I want to say thank you for joining me on this channel today. And if you like what you see, then please hit that like button and let me know that you're interested in what you're seeing and that you enjoy it. I would love to have your comments below as well. And if this is your not if this is your first time joining me on this channel, then of course I would love for you to subscribe to this channel and be a part of the lifestyle with Latasha family. If you've already subscribed, then I can't do anything but say thank you from the bottom of my heart sincerely. I really appreciate you. Let's get started. So here, this is one item that I'm going to be utilizing that I was able to snatch from Kirkland's back in the fall coming into the Christmas season. So this is the Norfolk Pine Groland branches. I was able to get these. They were like $9.99 at the time, and I think I had a coupon for like 30% off. So it was a great deal. This is a bowl that I've had for a while, and I'm going to use it as a centerpiece to put my tree in there. Um, these acorns are actually candles, um, pine cones, I'm sorry, branch candle holders are actually um, with a battery operated. And so I'm going to put them here and I just love the ambiance that they actually are going to give the room once we turn the lights off. Here are some placemats that I got, oh my gosh, a couple of years ago from World Market. I really love them because they're a little bit of a sheen on them, not too much glam, but I love the effect that they give when they're placed on the table. So here are some charges that, surprisingly guys, I was able to get a couple of years ago from Dollar General. When I tell you I looked high and low for these, trying to find them, and only to realize I could get them at the Dollar, Dollar General store. Now these are some plates that I was able to find from at home a couple of years ago. They're actually plastic, but I'm using them for this decor setup. And then I'm gonna throw in a couple of amber glasses just to complete the look and kind of keep it with that cozy effect that we're going for. I love these glasses. I was able to find them a couple of years ago on Facebook Marketplace as I was looking for amber glasses. And at first, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't particularly care for the style of them, but once I got them home, I really love how they give a little bit of contrast and interest to the table. They're not just your standard plain glass. They have some interest in them. And then what I've done is I've chosen to insert some of my gold silverware um, just to be able to finish the look. Here in this clip, I'm going to show you how I set that up up close so you can get a full idea of what it looks like. Enjoy. Of 
Okay, so here, one thing that I try to do is I try to always change out my napkin styles. Um, I just like to keep it a little bit of interest, but this one's gonna be really simple. As you can see, I just folded it in half, and then I'm gonna fold it again in half. The look that I was going for was simple, flat um, cloth that is just has a beautiful napkin ring holder around it. These napkin ring holders I've had for a couple of years. I love them because they bring in that brown look um, and they just complete that coziness that I'm going for on the on this uh, tablescape. All right, so now we're going to move on to the buffet. And on the buffet, I'm going to just clean it up a little bit. Um, as we had just, you know, gotten all rid of everything from Christmas, you know, we've got glitter galore and all the pine cone and the the flocks off the trees. So we just need to clean everything back up and get it shining a little bit. So this is a deer that I got from Big Lots. Now I'm going to tell you, these are all gone, but I hope that they bring them back. If I'm not mistaken, they are a dupe, but I'm not sure from which store. However, when I saw them, this was the only one that they had left. So I grabbed that one. This bowl I've had for a while. I got it from Home Goods a couple of years ago and the price, as you can see, was $29.99. Um, and so I snatched that up a couple of years ago and I've had it and I love just the way that it gives a look. So I'm going to complete this look with the browns and the golds. And these are some balls that I got a couple of years ago from a pottery barn. As you know, they're already gone, so you won't be able to get those. But I just kind of use those around when I want to complete a look. This gather sign I was able to pick up a couple of years ago from Home Goods as well. Now these little candles, I was able to get from Target. So don't miss out on Target Wonder Shop because they can have some really good deals. I wanna say those were maybe three, three dollars a piece. So great deal. This bowl now, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna decorate this bowl. So I utilize this tree from Christmas and this tree I wanna say I got from at home. And I'm gonna utilize this little light. You probably have seen them. A lot of people use them in their larger trees that are around their houses. I'm gonna use it in here and do something a little different. So let me know in the comments below what, you, what your thoughts are about this look and does it look good or is it, does it look a little silly? Um, I'm also gonna be using, using some Spanish moss that I got from Amazon and I'm gonna put it around and then I'm gonna have the light shine up on that tree. That light is also remote control and I will link that below in the description box so that you can find it. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit with that Spanish moss. I didn't realize that I probably should have brought some scissors just to be able to cut it a little bit easier. But once I got it broken, it was all good. Now we're just gonna turn it around and I'm gonna put some on the back side of it just to fill it in. And then I want you to let me know what your thoughts are about what you like about this, if you like it. Um, it's a little bit different. I thought, you know, let's try to do something a little bit out of the box to kind of create the looks that I want. One thing that I really like about having a dinner party is being able to use ambient lighting. And so I like to have little pops of light all over. So here is a um, planter that is in a beautiful dark color that I'm gonna utilize here from Amazon. I got a set of three and I will link them below. I know at one point they sold out, but they did bring them back. So I will put the link below. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize a tree with some of that Spanish moss from Amazon and I'm going to just put it in this corner. Now this tree for Christmas, I utilize on my front porch. However, as I said, I'm not really ready for spring yet. So I'm going to keep that aesthetic of just that warm and cozy going a little bit longer. And I just love the way these trees looked. And so I decided, you know what, what if I were to bring them in and just put them in some of my aesthetics around the house? So once again, let me know what your thoughts are. I would really want to know. And so I'm going to finish it up by lighting the candles and creating this look. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video so far. And let me know what your thoughts are. And here's the finished look.
If you like this video, please hit that like button and let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Now, here's the night ambience view. So as you can see, we turned off the overhead light and I wanted to just get a feel for what it would look like as I'm entertaining my guest with just ambient lighting. I think it turned out pretty swell, don't you? I love the fact that the lights give just enough light that we could have conversation and enjoy each other with laughter and fun. So tell me, what do you think? Hit that button and let me know what your thoughts are. And then, of course, give me comments. You know, it's almost as if we've become close friends when I am able to talk to my viewers. So I really would appreciate the comments. And I promise I'll respond back to you as quickly as I can. And like I said before, if this is your first time on this channel, I want to just say thank you for stopping by. We've got a lot of great content coming where lifestyle is going to be about family and faith. It's going to be about home decor, of course, which I absolutely love doing, but it's also going to be about real estate. So I'm going to be sprinkling some real estate in there, some things that are beneficial to real estate owners or anyone that may be looking for real estate. Just a little bit of, nug bit of nuggets just to kind of give you more insight into the real estate industry and what's going on. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so now and let me know what your thoughts are so that you can be a part of all that we have going on with Lifestyle with Latasha.
Once again, I want to thank you for stopping by Lifestyle with Latasha. And in the meantime, I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share this content. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.